remember when when okay this is the book spot the difference it came out just over a year ago yeah and this is the front cover i've got the front cover on the picture of my um, twitter as well so if you go on there you see the same front cover as you can see spot the difference and it's in it was brought out in honor of the um 60th anniversary of the windrush generation the windrush generation where um caribbeans that came over to the uk um from different caribbean countries um during the um 50s and um you know they came over to england because we thought that england was kind of like a promised land for us you know the, um, the country um, the uk was kind of like a, um you know the motherland to us as what we would call africa now well the the caribbeans saw or some caribbeans saw england like a, a motherland so we came over to get jobs and to kind of help the country rebuild itself after the second world war they really needed a lot of people to come over so we came over during that period and that would be your windrush the boat was actually called windrush that we went on yeah spot the difference and it helps to raise your game to reach your full potential there's my face there's some students from richmond college that i took some pictures of and you know repping so solid as you can see so what i'm going to do is read like the introduction for you of this because i feel like that's probably the best place to start yeah bearing in mind that this book is particularly aimed at young black boys and girls but everyone can get something from it it's, it's, it's actually for everyone but i feel like i have to kind of um, cater for my own people first before i can talk about anyone else because i know the problems that my people go through you know as a race so it is for everyone but just bearing in mind because i'm going to read it through and you're going to notice why so it says who is this book aimed at all youth particularly black youth why is this book aimed at black youth this book is aimed at black youth of today although all cultures can learn something from it throughout my growing up i have noticed that some of us as young black people are not seen to be achieving the same amount of success as other groups in society there is an apparent lack of unity amongst us we all tend to fight down rather than help each other to get to where we need to be. It hasn't always been like this, but in my lifetime, I have seen the situation in the UK and across the world get worse. It seems as though everyone speaks of the problem, but the majority do not want to help come up with solutions. It seems as though there are no great black community leaders anymore. Speaking out overtly, meaning openly, about the real problems we face, or at least we don't really hear of them. Most are underground doing great works within the UK, but we don't recognize it. As a people, it looks as though we have given up trying to keep our race in the race of self-development, improvement and achieving. Not to say that we're in competition or in a race with any other races, because no one wins the race in racism. But, you know, um, it seems as though other cultures work together and the black culture doesn't seem, or black people don't seem to be working together as much as the Asians or other cultures, that's why I mentioned that. We are poor physically, mentally, and spiritually. We have cut ourselves off from our greatness for some crazy reason, and this has obviously translated down to the youth of today. Our lifestyle, actions, and our mindset, or our minds are not as they should be. This is why we are acting the way we do currently. This book highlights some of the reasons why we are in the state we are in as young black people at this present moment in time and how to work our way out of it. This is so we can start to progress as individuals, families and as a race. If we take a look at ancient Africa, it is easy to see that we are the pioneers of the modern world. We had the first schools, universities, hospitals and holy places, which means we had the first teachers, scientists, astronomers, doctors, priests, scribes and so on. If we look at Africa and black people across the world right now, it seems as if we are not the same great people that we used to be. This is because we are not doing the great things that we did anymore. And the question we need to ask ourselves is what on and above earth has happened? How did we go from being and doing great things to being and doing hardly anything considered worth of worth? Something appears to have gone wrong along the way. We have neglected our story, culture, mindset and way of life and replaced it with his story, mindset, culture and way of life. I want you to think about that. When a people's account of greatness gets taken away from them, they have nothing great to look back on. This makes them feel they have no worth in the world. This is one of the reasons why we are the way we are at the moment. It seems as though our value in the world has disappeared. In school, we learn nothing about 
sorry, in school we learn nothing of ourselves as existing in times before slavery, if we are even taught properly about slavery. So when we look back at his story in our black minds, that's what we go back to. Slavery, struggle, fight, oppression, fear, hatred, etc. It's like we are walking up a steep hill with all these psychological experiences weighing us down emotionally, spiritually and mentally. This book is about trying to support us in restoring that greatness by making clear, simple principles that we can apply in working on our inner selves. We can't ha if we can't handle the basics, then the complicated things cannot be addressed properly. The book is aimed at our youth because they are our future. In this book, okay, let me leave it there because it goes on about the word overstand and the word understand and the word our story as opposed to the word his story. Now I know you're thinking, Swiss, rah, that was deep. I don't want you to be intimidated by some of the words that I'm using in the book because it's very easy to understand. Do you understand? And that's one of the things that I feel that we suffer from. When we hear big words out there in society, we tend to put up a mental block in our heads. We don't want to listen no more because we think that's out of our vocabulary. I don't understand that. So don't be intimidated. I, I stated that this book is a study book. Um, in the line before I, the line before I started, I state that this book is a study book, so I have a dictionary with me. So um, I just want our young people to kind of exceed their own expectations. Do you understand? Try and do better than what you think you can do and pick up a book that Swiss wrote. I didn't know most of these words that are in, in here. To I use the initiative to pick up a dictionary myself and look where I'm at now. I'm writing books, do you understand? So I'm trying to inspire our young people out there, not just young black people, our young people out there, you know, as well as adults too. So do buy the book, pick it up. You can get it from Amazon, as I said, or go to a, book, a bookstore and order it and they'll get it in for you. Thank you for listening. Spot the difference. Swiss.